The next one I'm going to look into is the Bailey B64, which is the pop top version. This is for birth. Again, it's just under six meters long, coming in at 5.98, and it's 2.49 meters wide. The screen price on this one was just £75,000, so £74,999, but with the show offer, with the £1,500 off, that's coming in at £73,499. Let's go and take a look. So we're coming up to the sliding door there. And you can see the fundamental difference on this model. You don't have your kitchen area as soon as you come through, which does make this area look wider and bigger as you go in. Your roof light up above the cab, which does give it a lot of light in here. You do have quite a lot of storage, nooks and crannies just above. You've got your two reading lights on both the passenger and the driver's side and this van is on the Ford Transit. This one is an automatic version. This is in the grey leather with the um, creamy colour, beige colour fabric in the middle with a nice Bailey branding. You'll see that there are quite a lot of differences in the layout. So you've got your main bench seat area on the driver's side and that pulls out to be a bed and joins into the smaller seat on the passenger side. The ladders are up um, to go up into the pop top, which we'll look at later. But this bed just comes out on these legs here. And it looks like you do have a little bit of storage area underneath. Again, this one is in the navy and the grey beige coloured material. You'll see directly behind the driver's area you do have a nice big window, which again does have the fly and the blinds on it. And you do have some nice handy little storage areas just behind there to put some little knickknacks. On the passenger side, this is where you've got your control panel above the sliding door. So you've got your Truma control panel some light switches and your master control panel. You have a couple of LED lights built in at the top. And on the side, you've got your carbon monoxide alarm and your fire alarm. You've got a TV point on the wall behind the sliding door and a smaller seat here, which fit one or potentially two people on one comfortably two at a push and your seats that make up into the bed you probably could fit three people four people on those seats there you've got four of these big cupboards they are in a wood effect with a dark gray matte stripe at the bottom and you do have an led strip up above these cupboards are nice and deep and quite tall as well and as i say you've got four of those on the driver's side. As you work your way up, you've got a little spotlight and a small window above your kitchen area. You've got your three hob burner here with a full cooker and grill underneath. You've got a useful cupboard to the side, which is quite slim. So I think you could put either bottles or sauces in that cupboard. You could fit tins in there as well, if you wanted to. Your sink, again, it's really quite wide. You could fit something in there, um, like a full dinner plate in there and still have plenty of room at the side. And you've got a decent amount of worktop. Underneath the sink, you've got your cutlery. A further drawer, which is quite deep. And you've got a cupboard for your LPG. We've got light switch and another little cupboard for some little things at the top there. You've then got your Thetford fridge freezer right at the very back leading onto your barn doors. So if we go on the passenger side from the front to the back you have your seat with your TV bracket. You do have a big cupboard here which has got a shelf unit at the top and it's got a hanging rail at the bottom. 
underneath that you also have another cupboard which is quite big you could put quite a bit in there actually and coming up to the innovative bit on these fans which is the bathroom let's try the bathroom and see how we get on in here slide 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 i feel like mr ben I remember mr ben he used to go through did he go through a curtain or through a wardrobe and end up somewhere else each week that's what i feel like maybe the makers of mr ben made this that's probably not complimentary is it you've got your toilet in the corner you've got a cupboard to put all your knickknacks in above the toilet i do like the gray panel there that's quite different and you have got a very quite a big mirror there you've got led lighting underneath and you've got a little snicket there to put your toilet roll in you've got the rectangular basin in the corner with quite a bit of shelving space in there shower hook <laughs> and your shower head that comes out you've got this shower curtain that runs around so it can't be a wet room i do like the innovation i do like that this door slides around you know that's quite cool and it does save space and what you actually gain from it is quite a bit of floor space at what would be the pinch point in the van so if it had just been a flat door across the wall would have gone down here so you can see that you would narrow this area quite a bit but because of the the way that the door is you do actually gain quite a bit of extra valuable working space so either to pass each other the camper van shuffle or for when somebody's in the kitchen so that you can work quite comfortably we're going to take a look up into the pop top so straight away you'll notice that there's a window up above and there's a huge bed area up here. What I do like is the ability to take this canvas off and actually be able to look out. I can imagine when you're on a campsite you'll be able to see some lovely views from up here. I mean that is good and it just literally fastens back on. When you look behind me as well look at this bed space i mean it's huge that you do get so much more space up here and it'd be very very comfy we had originally ruled out pop tops but i think i'm going to rule them back in again now and the reason i'm saying that is because of the space that you get up here um it does feel really comfy and really big and i suppose what would take a pop top off the list the short list would be if the layout downstairs didn't work for us because obviously there will be times when you can't have the top up when the wind's high for a pop top to make it onto our final list it would all be extremely dependent on the layout below but this is cool this is comfy but if you don't mind me i'm just gonna have a kip up here it's nice and peaceful i could probably stay up here all day David wouldn't find me. Roxy wouldn't find me. The Kimberley staff might not find me. I could go and have breakfast and then just come and sit up here and have a little nap in the peace and quiet. Good night, everybody. Good night. And it's in this rather nice blue colour. I do like the colour of the branding. It feels quite luxurious. Again, with the little embossed mountain images on the side. What you can see on the back of these barn doors is there are some little storage pockets. On the back, that's both on the passenger side and also on the driver's side. And the barn windows do have the fly screen and the blinds. You also have an area where your table is stowed you have another storage pocket and you've got access to your toilet because that's the endeavour with the pop top in all its glory there. One thing I'm always interested to try as well is how much leg room there is in the cab. Doesn't seem to be a lot. 
the leg room's definitely less in the Fords than the Ducato. So if you're tall like me, it's definitely worth checking it out. So seat would only go so far back. You could drive it, no problem, but less than I expected. I think the Baileys are a really nice fan and definitely worth considering. If you're looking at the one with the pop top, I would also check out the Eldis CV80 or the Explore X8 if you're looking for something a bit more adventure -y. It is a handsome beast, I've got to say. Do I like this fan? Has it made the short list? I do like the way that the bathroom is, that it does give you that extra space. My comments are the Ford cab doesn't seem to have as much leg room, uh, which is a little bit of a problem. Not a disaster if there was the perfect fan, but there's more room in the Ducato. Sorry, Bailey, no, unfortunately, this one has not made it to the short list. Hello. Look who we've bumped into today. <laughs> yeah. Carl, Nick, and Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, Archie. Hello, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go and get some breakfast now.